friends and family of the bride and groom, Hannah and Braxton, welcome you and thank you for being here on this important day that I know they have waited for for five years. That's 1,825 days for this moment where we are gathered together to celebrate the very special love between Hannah and Braxton by joining them in holy matrimony. a good one. Braxton, you have been nothing short of a sweet soul. You both have so many memories and exciting times ahead. Just remember, God handpicked you two to be husband and wife, so cherish that and continue to live for Him and for each other. Love you guys. The two of you are fine examples of what God wants for a godly marriage. Every time I see you, the two of you, your eyes pop with excitement and with passion. Keep that fire and passion. Never lose it. I didn't know what I was getting myself into when I first met you, but I, we hit it off right from the beginning, and we've never looked back. You are undoubtedly the greatest thing that has ever happened to me besides my salvation. You are my best friend, and I am truly blessed to finally get to marry you. I love you in a way I never thought was possible for me. You helped me to discover what true love was all about and what it meant to care for someone more than yourself. I vow to love you with all my heart, to love you more than the day before, to protect you from the evil in this world mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. I vow to always remind you of how beautiful you are to me and how much I love you. I can't wait to see what God has in store for you. My sweet, sweet Braxton, I have loved you with my whole heart for such a long time. Never have I known another man with a heart like you. You are such a special person. You value your relationship with God far more than anything else in life, and that is how I know you are the man for me. You love me, you respect me, you protect me, you laugh with me, and most importantly, you will grow old with me. I vow to one day be the best mother to our blonde babies and to raise them according to God's plan. And lastly, I vow to love you with my whole heart forever. I am so excited to finally be your wife and to come live with you this morning. I love you so much. I love you. Acting in the authority invested in me by the laws of this state of Florida and looking to heaven for divine sanctity, I pronounce to you, husband and wife, in the presence of God, and these assembled with I now pronounce to you, Mr. 
and Mrs. Hicks. Who is the better cook? <laughs>